Nothing says summer like grilling in the backyard and kicking back with a cold one. Our crossover event of the summer combines both of these things. I'm talking about grilled cocktails. You have all you guys over, they all want to huddle around the grill. And when you open that up, they're expecting to see some sizzling steaks. What's the reaction I'm going to get when I open it up and there's like cantaloupe on there? Hey, people are probably going to look at you like you're a little crazy. We met up with Austin Woodley, bar manager at Chantico in Phoenix, to learn about how adding grilled fruits to our cocktails can elevate them to heights unexplored. A lot of those flavors don't really get brought out until you throw them on the grill. It's so easy. The only prep is to cut the fruit and grill it at a high heat for a short time. You want them thin enough so that the inside is softening up and getting caramelized and the outside not just charring with, you know, a solid cold inside. For our first drink, we're going to put that grilled watermelon to use in what we're calling the chargarita. You definitely get a little bit of a different taste than you would normal just fresh watermelon. You're gonna get absolutely it's different. It changes the whole character of it. It does. To make this cocktail, muddle the watermelon and some grilled serrano peppers in a shaker. Add some tequila blanco, lime juice, and agave syrup. Fill the shaker with ice and shake until cold. Add some tahini to the rim of your glass and dump the contents in, ice and all. This is a really delicious drink. This is getting me in trouble. I'm getting paid for this. Next, no cookout would be complete without some summer jams. This one's a whiskey-based cocktail. You're going to get the smoke off the grill, but it's going to kind of lighten up that bourbon as well, make it more drinkable for even people who aren't bourbon drinkers. Again, we'll muddle our strawberries and cherries, then bourbon whiskey, lemon juice, and simple syrup fill with ice and shake. Strain into a tall glass filled with ice and a little soda water, and top off again with soda water. Oh, this is delicious. But you know what's interesting? There's a little bit of a chocolatiness. Once you grill these out, everyone's gonna pick up different things out of these fruits. Our final cocktail is called Hot Summer Nights. This is going to be a gin and cantaloupe based drink. Can I try one? Absolutely. Oh my gosh. Right away. Mm -hmm. Front of the tongue, it just hits differently. We start with the Sambuca rinse for a hint of black licorice flavor. Swish a quarter ounce around in the glass. Muddle the cantaloupe well, then add gin, lemon juice, and simple syrup. Fill with ice and shake. Strain it into your Sambuca rinse glass served up, which means no ice. This is the topper right here. This is what you hit them with at the end of the night to really knock their socks off. This is a delicious drink, Austin. Thank you. Thank you. For the full recipes, head to thelisttv.com. We're leveling up our barbecue game by putting some char in our bar.